Hello team, welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan, MSP. This is Ukraine war. I don't know what kind of video this is, breaking news, just a quick analysis of a, of a Russian claim, a debunking video, or at least let's be guarded about the claims sort of video. Anyway, what are we talking about? Well, Russians are coming out and claiming, uh, and I could have done this video yesterday, that they have taken out a Patriot launcher, uh, which would be really significant and a big problem for the Ukrainians. Uh, this is... The, the TLDR of this video, if you don't know internet speak, that's too long, didn't read. Uh, if you just want a very quick summary, there's a video that doesn't show that a Patriot was destroyed, but there could have been a Patriot that was in the building that was eventually destroyed, I guess. Um, just with, with many of these videos, you're just not sure, and it's it's not confirmatory at all. Um and the, the Russians like to throw these out and say, we've done this, we've done that. Uh, this happened with the HIMARS where they said, we've destroyed two HIMARS or, or two separate videos. We destroyed a HIMARS, destroyed a HIMARS, and I debunked both those videos. Sometime later, we saw that some HIMARS were flown away to be repaired that had some slight, um, sort of, not... Yeah, it was cosmetic damage for what we could see, at least on one of them. Um, had some shrapnel da damage to it. Could it could have, would have been, I guess, more than just cosmetic if it's getting, getting taken away. And another one had like part of its front um, paneling uh, taken off or damaged. And but whether it's more fundamental than that, I don't know. But the point was these two high Mars weren't destroyed. If these even were the same two high Mars from the videos that were previously shown, anyway. Here we have um, this video. This is the one that is doing the rounds. Uh, so we'll just go through it for for the time being. So we have um, some warehouses here. Uh, don't really know what it's pointing at there. I don't think it's pointing at anything. But we, we have a road um, and a Patriot, what appears to be a Patriot launcher, but also could be just an H X81 or similar. Right, so th this is uh, a Patriot launcher, but it doesn't have the launcher on the back, uh, the actual mechanism of launching. So it could well be this. It it does. I'm trying to look to see whether that's got enough wheels. Actually, that only looks like uh, two. That doesn't look like it's got the the last two uh, sets of wheels at the back. So even then, I mean, I could be wrong there. But even then, it doesn't look like the right vehicle. You know, that has got. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wheels, and the, the one we just looked at only had eight. And then we have this um, warehousing getting blown up, and it, and it is seriously blown up. I mean, there's if this has got kit in this warehouse complex, then and it does look like that there's a military vehicle there of some variety, not directly hit, but could well have been damaged. Then the, the Ukrainians may well have lost a bunch of kit. We see a white vehicle going in there, and then. Uh, you know, different buildings exploding. This is, uh, this has been um, geolocated, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, as you can see, that, that that white van there looks a little bit worse. Where, but there's just no, there's no confirmation of, I, I don't think that's actually shown anything, that, that yellow arrow is just random. Um, as you're showing the warehouse complex. And if there's any confirmation that a Patriot launcher has been taken out here, at all. Uh, this has been geolocated to by Kherson on the road out of Kherson and there's that little, uh, in, in, in the middle of the red circle, that um, warehouse complex there. So we have a little bit more of an analysis by Ukraine battle map here. Russia is claiming that a Patriot system was destroyed in the Kherson region. Video was released, was taken uh, at this geolocation near Kherson airport. Uh, which is what we just saw. The Russians claim one vehicle in the video was a Patriot launcher and another was a Patriot command post. The suspected Patriot launcher uh, truck in the video does not fit the general description of a Patriot system launcher truck that Russia claimed it was. Instead, it appears likely to be an LKW 15 ton uh, MILGL multi truck sent to Ukraine by Germany than any other Patriot vehicles. So again, you've got the two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wheels, and you've only got um, eight of them there. As you can see, I mean, it is blurred, but you can see it's not not that long, and it looks much more like this vehicle there. Uh, and I, I would, I would agree with that. Like, I, it does indeed look very much like that vehicle, as opposed to the Patriot launcher. 
So I'd agree with the analysis so far. Uh, the Russian claim was that a vehicle in the building was a Patriot engagement control system. In the vehicle, there's not enough detail to determine exactly what it is, but it is small in comp comparison to a Patriot control station. It could be any other green truck or green container. Uh, and that's the one that I pointed out during the video. I mean, it does look, it, in fact, that looks like a rectangular container is, is, is essentially what that looks like. Now, it, it could be this vehicle, but I don't see the uh, the cabin at all the cabin appears not to be there unless they've just taken that off the truck and that is just the control um unit but then if that's the case then the control unit with all this stuff here is under a roof and is going to be surely that's going to interfere with it working and you wouldn't have that taken off the vehicle inside a building i wouldn't have thought even if you can take it i mean i have no idea but to to dump that inside a warehouse appears to me a rather bizarre thing to do so again i would agree that that's not the uh patriot um vehicle uh, oh, sorry command post there and then other than the truck on the road and the truck in the building, there are no other claims of it being a Patriot. There are cars in the video, but it's impossible to link them to a Patriot. The strike could have been a strike on Ukrainian military equipment, uh, but likely not a Patriot. Uh, I would tend to agree with that. I mean, this might have been a, a Patriot that was blown up or, well, you don't even see the Patriot being blown up. It drives off. So this might have been a control center. It might have been. Uh, being hit you might have had other equipment there but you, you just can't tell so I, I'm not a fan of these very concrete claims about things that have very low probability it just it really annoys me every every truth claim is a probability outside of Cogito Ogosum I was picked up on Radika Pereira on my threads the other day like so you know you're talking about Gerasimov uh, and now you're saying you know hiding behind probabilities Every truth claim is a probability, apart from I think, therefore I am. So just a little bit of philosophy here. Uh, Rene Descartes said, I think, therefore I am, trying to strip back what we knew. And it turns out the only thing we can indubitably know is that we exist. And we know that by doubting that we exist. So if I say, oh, I don't think I exist, then some thinking entity that is me exists in order to doubt that it exists, right? So whatever this is, exists. I can't talk about anything else in the world uh, indubitably. I can't talk about you guys existing like only you can do that yourselves, indubitably. Everything else is a probability. There's a non-zero chance that I'm existing in the matrix, right? And my my brain's in a vat or whatever. Right? So e e therefore, everything's, everything's a probability. The fact that I got up this morning is a 99.999% truth to me, but it might not be true because I could be in a, in a, in a matrix experience machine and not getting up in the morning and doing this video. So... When we talk about whether things happen or not, it's it's on that continuum of zero to 99.999%. It's going to be somewhere in, in there. And Russians make these claims based on what is conceivably possible, judged, you know, based on some images that you see. And you say, well, conceivably, it could be a command post that's been blown up. But there's no way of knowing that from the data that you have given me there. So I assign this a very low probability chance of being true. Uh, although it could be true in the same way that I said Gerasimov was highly likely uh, dead or injured um, and uh, that it was uh, very unlikely that he was going to go on holiday for seven weeks in the middle of a very important part of the war when he's in charge of the war. So, yeah, and, and the fact that he turned up meant that, OK, he's not dead, but he probably was injured or ill or something. There's something weird going on where he took a seven-week leave of absence. So it's probabilities. And we, and we reassess our probabilities when we have new data come in. So, for example, when Gerasimov turned up, it's like, okay, that's a new bit of data. That's obviously going to be, be, be having an effect on my probability assessment. So that's how it works. It's all about probabilities. Probability here is very low that it's a Patriot um, because there ain't no Patriot blowing up there. Even that vehicle, which has been misidentified, was not shown to be blown up. So be wary of all these kinds of claims. Anyway, on with my normal videos.